Well, new at 10, we've heard of people having roof rat problems, but this guy takes the cake. Huh. This is a case for the record books. Yeah, get this, his security camera capturing the rats having a party <laughs> in his house. <laughs> T12's Nicole Zymek is live up in the Alert Center with a story <laughs> and what you can do if you're in a similar boat. And Nicole, tell the truth, when you saw this video, did you get the heebie-jeebies? I did. I mean, nobody likes to look at rats. Technically, though, the good news is the rats were having a party outside the house. But the folks at Urban Desert Pest Control tell me that this has been a pretty bad year as far as roof rats go. And one Awatuki man has the video to prove it. When John Teleria set up these bird feeders, he was hoping to get a lot of these adorable peach-faced guests. Every morning they'll come for about an hour. They're so fun to watch. Unfortunately, he also got some unwanted visitors. Someone warned me that rat, uh, roof rats are attracted to bird feeders. So that sparked my curiosity. Hmm, I wonder if that's true. So I pointed one of my Arlo security cameras towards the backyard one night, and that's when I saw the roof rats having a party out here. One, two, three, four. Their beady little eyes popping up everywhere. I was shocked. I've seen roof rats every now and then when my cameras will catch one. I had no idea there were that many here. So this was a house that was actually remodeled wow. and the rats actually chewed a hole right in the sewer pipe. Chad Little with Urban Desert Pest Control specializes in removing the rodents. He says they can cause a lot of damage, like biting through your pipes. So this is what we deal with all the time. If you're dealing with the pests and thinking of cutting down your citrus, don't. Chad says that's a huge myth. They can remove their citrus trees. It's not going to change. Uh, their primary food source is going to be the nuts and seeds, um, which, you know, we're going to get off of all of our mesquite trees, our Palo Verde trees. And Chad says there are certain citrus roof rats won't even touch. They won't eat lemons. Most of the grapefruits they won't touch either. John, meanwhile, took matters into his own hands, installing some rat obstacles. Oh, no, they can't climb up here anymore because I, I put this in. Sure, he could take the feeders out altogether, but... I mean, it's a trade-off. Put up with a couple of rats at night, but I have the lovebirds coming during the day, so... Well, Chad says that the number one thing he's seen attract rats by far are beehives. So if you're having a rat problem, make sure you don't also have a bee problem as well. Live in the Alert Center, Nicole Zymek, 12 News at 10.